surely I will. Yes, surely I will. If the deacons don't make it, well, surely I will. And the ushers don't make it. Lord, surely I will. If the pastors don't make it, Lord, surely I will. I said, surely I will. Lord, surely I will. Yes, surely I will. Oh, surely I will. Cause you know that I'm bound for Mount Zion Way out on the hill You know that I'm bound for Mount Zion Way out on the hill And you know that I'm bound for Mount Zion Way out on the hill And if anybody makes it surely I Oh 
find pleasure in the simple things in life. You're the music and the metals and the strings. The voices of the children, my family and my home. You're the source and finish of my highest dreams. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Savior Jesus Christ, amen, which is the head of my life. This is the day that the Lord has made. In the scripture, amen, say that we should rejoice and be glad in it. And then again, rejoice. Hallelujah. Come on and put them blessed hands together one more time. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Amen. I give honor where honor is due. Amen. I, I greet you, praise God, as Amen. New image. Amen. My pastors of Dr. Rep. Stockton and Mary Stockton. Amen. Amen. I bless my wife today. Amen. amen. All the brothers. Amen. And figure fathers. Amen. I say happy Father's Day. Amen. 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 Come on and put the hand together to yourself. Amen. God is good. Amen. And then put our hands together. Amen. For our Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. We realize, amen, that we are facing so many things today. Amen. I heard Minister Amen Long say, amen, things are getting crazier and crazier. Praise God. It's been another shooting at another church. I don't know if you heard about it. Amen. Three got shot, two died. Amen. Amen. The Bible say pray, but then they also say be watchful. Somebody shout Pray. But then somebody say, you better look around. Yeah. Amen. God's people got to be ready. Yeah. Amen. I come to you, praise God, with a message and a topic today, not yet. But let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you once again that you have allowed us to wake up in our right mind, the blood of one and roam through our body. 
Now, Father God, we ask you to open up the windows of heaven. Pour us out what we need in this hour. You know what we need, Father God. We say fill the cup up, Lord, until it run, runneth over. Father God, we pray that all of us will open our minds and our heart, Father God. We'll allow you to come in and have your way. Father God, we ask you to bless this service in a special way. Father God, we honor you because we realize that you are the father of all, Father. Father God, if it wouldn't be for you, Father God, it wouldn't be no father, no mother, or no children. So God, we honor you right now. You're the father of all, Father. Oh Lord, we bless right now. Father God, we 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 we, we rebuke and bind right now that everything to come against, Father God, this local church and all the churches, Father God, that you have put together, Father God. Oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you praises right now, Father God. Now, Father God, I ask you to Father God to speak through me and speak to your people right now, Father God. I ask you, Father God, let them receive the word, Lord, in love. And let this word go forward in power and not of my word, but your word in Jesus' name. Let the church shout, amen. amen. For a topic and a subject, amen, not yet, praise God. All this stuff is happening, praise God. We want to give in and sometimes we want to just throw in the towel. But look to somebody and say, not yet. Amen. It ain't over until God says it over. And we must realize, praise God, that God has the first word. God has the last word. Amen. He Alpha and Omega. Come on, somebody. Praise God. I'm leaning not on my own understanding, but I'm leaning on God. Amen. Because I know that his word is everlasting. Praise God. Amen. We're going to ask you to turn to 2 Kings. Amen. 2 Kings. Amen. Chapter 20. Chapter 20. Praise God. And we're going to start at the first verse, verse. And when those that can stand, praise God, are able to stand, we're going to ask you to stand. And then if you can't stand, God know about it. And ain't nobody building but you and God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Second King, Second King chapter 20. In the very first verse. Second Kings. 2 Kings chapter 20, very first verse. In those days, Hezekiah was sick and near death. And Isaac the prophet, the son of Amazon, went to him and said, Thou said, The Lord set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. Then he turned <clears throat> his face toward the wall <clears throat> excuse me, and prayed to the Lord, saying, Remember now, O Lord, I prayed how I walked before you in truth and in a loyal heart, and I done what was good in your sight. And Hezekiah weep bitterly. And, and it happened before Isaiah has gone out into the middle of the court, the word of the Lord came, in, came into him saying, Return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, thou said the Lord, for God of your, for, for the God of David, David, your father, I have heard your prayer. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have seen your tears. Surely I will heal you on the third day, and you shall go up to the house of the Lord, and I will add to your days 15 years, and I will deliver you in this city from the hand of the king of Syria, and I will defend this city for my, for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. Amen. I have read God's word to God people. Amen. I pray that it be a blessing to you. You can be seated at this time. Praise God. Like I said before, amen, so many things are happening. Amen. And you have to realize that the enemy is going to and for him. Amen. Seeing that who he can devour. And his job is to discourage you. His job, is, amen, is to derail you. He wants to get you off track. Amen. Get in your mind. Everything starts in the mind. But when it gets in the heart and you begin to believe, praise God. Amen. Praise God. You are finished. Amen. So if a man think it, praise God. So is he. But when that thing gets in the, amen, the heart the heart of the mind, praise God, within you, praise God, is over, praise God. And we have to understand, praise God, in the scripture, praise God, Hezekiah, amen. The Lord told him to say, set your house in order, amen, that you will surely die. 
Amen. And we have to understand, amen, the enemy throwing all kinds of fiery darts at us, praise God. But we can stand, praise God. We can stand because we got something to stand on, and that's the word of God. But your mind got to be made up. You got to be believing God's word. You cannot be shaken, praise God. You cannot be toned, tossed two and two and four, praise God. And realize, praise God, that Hezekiah, praise God, amen, he thought it was over, praise God. Isaac told him, praise God, that the Lord said, praise God, it's over. <laughs> but the second verse said, and he turned his face toward the wall and prayed. My brothers and sisters, when we get in trouble, we got to pray. Amen. We can't lose our mind, but praise God. We still have an instrument. We still have a tool. Amen. And that's prayer. Amen. Whatever you do, don't stop talking to the Lord. Amen. Don't pick up the phone and call sister so-and-so, brother so-and-so, praise God, because they can't fix your problem, but God can. You got to talk to the Lord, praise God. Amen. Praise God. When Hezekiah, wall, when Hezekiah back was against the wall, he began to talk to the Lord. And, and this is very interesting. In the third verse, he said, now... He said, remember me, Lord. Remember me, Lord, that, amen, that I serve you with a pure heart. Remember me, Lord, that I will lower to you, praise God. Now listen, Hezekiah is talking directly to the Lord. He's not talking to Isaac, but he's talking to the Lord, praise God. And he's telling the Lord what the Lord already know. I want y'all to catch this. He's telling the Lord what the Lord already know. Praise God. See, God knows everything about us. He knew you, praise God, when you was formed in your mother's womb. Praise God. But see, God wants you to know that you know that you know yourself. Praise God. And he began to tell, praise God, the Lord, Lord, I have done this and I have done that. Amen. Amen. I've done it to you, praise God. And just by that, he said, I've done good works in your sight. Praise God. And Hezekiah began to weep bitterly. Praise God. Praise God. And then the Lord told him, praise God. The Lord began to tell, praise God, Isaac, praise God, before Isaac could even get across the courtyard, go back and tell the captain of my people, praise God. Go back and tell him, praise God, hey, hallelujah, praise God, that I'm going to bless him. Amen. I'm just paraphrasing. Listen to what it says. He said, return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, said the Lord, the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. Hallelujah. I have heard your prayer. I've seen your children. Surely I will heal you, praise God. And the sixth verse is so powerful. And he said, and I will add. Somebody shout add. add. Hey, Amen. This is what I get my topic from. It's not over, praise God. Hallelujah. See, God is watching us. The Father sits so high, but he looks so low. He knows everything we do. He knows our very intent. And he knows your heart, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. He knows your heart. He knew, praise God, that Hezekiah, amen, was walking and praying, praise God, and doing the things in the will of God, praise God. And so many, praise God, we don't understand, praise God. God knows everything all about us, praise God. And like I said, God wanted Hezekiah to know. And when God realized that Hezekiah knew it, somebody shout, he added. God is a God. Listen to this. God is a God. His word never changes. God's word never changes. Who God is, it never changes. But it's God's prerogative to do whatever he want, whenever he wants, praise God. And he don't have to answer to nobody. I say God don't got the answer to nobody. Amen. Because he's God all by himself. And he began to add on to Hezekiah 15 more years. God is adding on to each and every one of our lives, praise God. Just like the young sister, Sister McGee, praise God. Hallelujah. She finished high school. She's getting ready to go into college. God is adding on, praise God. But the thing about it, what are you going to do with the add-on? What are you going to do with God have added on, praise God? Do you know God has added on everybody in here in the sound of my voice? Well, what are you talking about, Brother Chad? You woke you up this morning. He done added another day. What are you going to do from this day forward? God is adding on, praise God. God is here to bless you, praise God. He has set, amen, blessing and cursing before you, amen. What are you going to do? Are you going to choose blessing or are you going to choose cursing, praise God? It's up to us, praise God. The, the days that God has added on to us, what are you going to do? What are you going to do with God? Hezekiah had 15 more years, amen, amen, to continue, praise God, to lead God's people. And it's a blessing, praise God. Fifteen more years and I will deliver you, praise God. God will take care of the rest. Yeah. All we got to do, praise God. I say God will take care of the rest, praise God. 
And when we understand this praise, God, God will begin to move. All the doors that have been shut in your faces, all the doors that have been closed, amen. God is saying, I'm reopening them. I'm reopening, praise God. All the jobs that you've been rejected, praise God. God is opening, praise God. But when God opened that door, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, praise God? So many times, praise God, we have a pity party with ourselves. And we think it's over, praise God. And God is speaking right now, praise God. It is not yet, praise God. It is not over until I say it over. The same God, amen. Amen. The rose Lazarus, praise God. Hallelujah. When Lazarus' sister thought it was over, amen, God raised him, praise And God is raising each and every one of us right now, praise God. And what are we going to do when God has raised us, praise God? Hallelujah, praise God. I'm telling you, God is doing some mighty things in our life, praise God. God is saying, listen, I've begun a work in you, praise God. Philippians 1 and 6, praise God. We got to be confident, praise God. When God add on us, we got to get, be confident, praise God. We ain't got to be arrogant, praise God, but we got to be confident, praise God. When I know that I know that I know that God is for me, who can be against me? I say, who can be against me when I know God, praise God. I heard the minister talk about all that you've been through. God ain't brought us just for to leave us. God ain't brought us this far to leave us, praise God. Things ain't happening in our life because we're giving in and we're giving out, praise God. But God is saying, get yourself together. I done added on to you, praise God. I done gave you a plus, not a minus. Come, I'm multiplying, praise God. Philippians 1 and 6, they say, begin, I'll give you confidence of the very thing that he begun a good work in you. God said, I've begun a good work in you, praise God. And he said, praise God, the work in you, you need to perform it. You need to perform it, praise God. Nobody can stop you but you. So many times we say the devil stopped me. The devil is a lie. The devil can't stop you. He didn't stop Job. He didn't stop Job. And the devil can't stop you. God said you can do anything you want to Job, but you can't touch your soul, praise God. We allow situations and circumstances, amen, to shut things down. We realize that gas is going up. Amen. Hell do and baby shoes too. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we have to understand, praise God. God is blessing, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody can stop you but you, praise God. It's time to perform, praise God. God have promised us, praise God. Amen. Our problem is we focus on all the problems of the world. Forget the problem. Focus on the promise. Focus on the promise of God. God said, amen, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you until the end of time, praise God. God got you covered, praise God. God covered Hezekiah because God knew his walk. See, it was in not only his conversation, but it was in his demonstration. See, a lot of us, we sometimes buy people say, fake it till you make it. No, 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 no. You about to make it. Because we are living in some true the time, time is at hand. Time is truly winding down. And let me tell you something. The enemy is real. Like I said, like I said before, another church shooting. Y'all hear what I said? Another church shooting. The enemy don't care about you or me. Coming in the church and shooting people down, praise God. And hallelujah. But see, the devil want to discourage you and keep you away from the house of prayer because it's strength, praise God. It's unity, praise God. When the saints come together and begin to pray, you can bind out the enemy. Come on, somebody, praise God. Hallelujah. God wants us to execute. God wants us to, amen, to be fulfilled, praise God. He wants us to accomplish, praise God, the purpose that he put in there. But you cannot allow the enemy to frustrate your purpose. God has a purpose for each and every one of us. So many times I hear people say, well, in church, I ain't no preacher. Uh, uh, I ain't this or I ain't that. But baby, God called you to do something. You need to find out exactly what it is and you need to start doing it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ. It is not about me. It's not by strength. It's not by might, but it's by the Spirit, says the Lord. Hallelujah. God has started to work in us, praise God. What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? Amen. Psalm 84 and 11 said, The Lord will, the Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is good. The Lord will not hold nothing from you. When you do good, praise God. Amen. God does better. 
Amen. God blesses you, praise God. All we got to do, that's why the Bible teaches us, amen. In Matthew 6, amen, 33, seek ye first the kingdom. First, we got to get our priorities right. We got to get our priorities right. No matter what's going on around us, we got to keep seeking the Lord. It's a continuation. You got to keep seeking the Lord. See, the more you seek the Lord, the closer you get. The closer you get, amen, we got a high tower to run to. We got safety to run to. This is why things are happening and we're scrambling when things are happening, praise God. Hallelujah. We realize the epidemic, praise God, amen. We realize what we went through, amen, but COVID is still alive and well. COVID is still alive and well. And God has given all us wisdom and we have to protect ourselves against the enemy. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but get spirit and principalities in high places, people. Hallelujah. So that's why I praise God. Hallelujah. And we will understand God, praise God, want us to experience the promise that he have, he, he have given us, praise God. Amen. The goodness of the Lord. And God knew. God knew Hezekiah's heart. Does God know your heart? I say, does God know your heart? Nobody can answer that but you. Nobody can answer that but you, praise God. God is a God of increase. God is a God of multiplication. God multiplies. Come on, somebody. God don't decrease. God multiplies. Come on, somebody, praise God. But God is searching your heart. God don't look at the outer appearance of man, but God look at your heart. God knows your heart. You can judge me all you want to, praise God, from the outside, but God sees the heart. God knows the heart. Somebody shout the heart. Somebody shout the heart. God knows the heart. Come on, somebody. And that's why, amen, we go from one level to the next level. Come on, somebody. Your attitude will always determine your altitude. You got to get your mindset. Come on, buddy. You got to get your conversation right. You got to get your walk right. Hezekiah got these things right before the Lord. And God blessed him. And God added on to his life. God added on to his life. Hallelujah. I told someone the other day, and they looked at me like him I was crazy. I said, even though all the stuff that we're going through, I haven't been affected. Uh-oh. That's talking bold. I said, I haven't been affected. Come on. God, it was still blessed me when I'm able to put gas in the tank. Even though it's five dollars, still, I still got food on tape. Y'all know y'all can tell. Come on, somebody, and talk to me. Amen. God is still feeding me. Come on, somebody. Brad, I say, heaven, God, is still feed me. I still got somewhere to lay my head at night. God is still adding on his people. God will not be a liar for nobody. God cannot lie, praise God. See, the devil wants you to put your head down. The devil wants you to give in. The devil wants you to stop coming to church. The devil wants you to stop fellowshipping. The Bible says, assemble yourself together. Let nothing separate you from the love of God. Are you hearing me? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. See, the enemy is tricky. I said, the enemy is tricky, praise God. But you got to know that you know that you know who you are in the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells us, praise God. In, 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 um, in, um, in the Proverbs, praise God, 24 and 16, man fall down. But look at somebody say, you can get up. Man say, man fall down seven times, praise God. If you fall down, don't just lay there. Look at somebody and say, get up. The Bible does not give us a spirit of fear. Come on, somebody. He give us spirit, spirit of a sound mind, of a sound mind, of a sound mind. You get that mind right, you can move forward. Your mind ain't right, you can get a shut down everything. Hallelujah. Amen. God is a rock. We got to learn to trust in the Lord. We got to learn to trust in the Lord until the day we die. Until the day we die. Until the day we take the part. Come on, somebody. Praise God. He's a rock. God has established you. Praise God. You got to keep your faith. The faith that you have, that's all it takes. Come on, somebody. The Bible says if you have faith, the small as a mustard seed, that's all it takes. Praise God. Your faith can get you wherever you need to go. You just got to hold on to your faith. You got to hold on to your faith. Hezekiah had the faith. He began to talk to the Lord. Lord. Remember me. Amen. I serve you with my heart, my body, and everything. I will loyal to you, praise God. God knew that. 
God knew that. See, what that's all about, see, you can't fake God. You can't fake God. I can't fake God. God knows our very intent. Amen. God, Jeremiah 29 and 11. I said this, this before I know what I am planning. God knows. God has a plan for our, our life. But our God also got an expectation, praise God, for our life. God has a plan. God has a plan, praise God. And the purpose has already been set. All we got to do is stay on course. And he will give us the hope and a good future. <laughs> Amen. Because he promised us, praise God. He promised us, praise God. Amen. He will do just that, praise God. <laughs> Amen. We got to taste and see how good God really is. Have you forgot how good he tastes? Have you forgot the goodness of the word? The word is mm -mm, good. And you have to realize, amen, the word, what it was doing when you got saved, it's still doing. Amen. When you get hungry, get back in the word of God. The word of God will take you through. And it'll take you to where you need to be in life. Praise God. I like when the brother told the, the, the young sister, praise God, read these scriptures. Amen. When you get discouraged, go to the word. Don't go to your girlfriends. Young lady, don't go to your girlfriend. They can't tell you nothing. Amen. Go to the word. Go to the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with them. And the word is he. Because, amen, at the end, we need the word. We need the word. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. All my trust is in the Lord. All my trust is in the Lord. Where is your trust? You have to ask yourself that. Where is your trust? And let me tell you something. Tests are necessary. And tests will come. Tests will come. Tests will storm you all at once. And sometime in life, praise man, you won't be going through nothing. But all of a sudden, all a collision, it'll start coming down on you, praise God. And if you ain't in the world, you won't be able to stand. You will not be able to stand. You will become pieces, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. God can fix it. Our Father can fix it. No matter how bad it is, praise God. He can fix it, praise God. We don't have the ability and we don't have the might. Amen. But God can fix it. Look toward the hill will forecome your help. Because all your help come from the hill. Amen. All your help come from Calvary, praise God. Hallelujah. That's where he laid it all down for you and I, praise God. Amen. God is doing some good things in our life. Amen. It was a father figure, amen, in 2 Timothy, praise God. Apostle Paul began to speak to a young preacher by the name of Timothy, praise God. And he told Timothy, amen, remember who you are. Remember who you are. And my brother and sister, we got to know who we are. You can't let people dictate to you who you are. You got to know who you are, praise God. I had two kids that went to college, amen, a boy and a girl, Amen. The boy was older than the girl. Come on, somebody. Praise God. Hallelujah. But the girl, amen, went to college. They got an associate, a bachelor, and a master. Amen. My son, wanted, he wanted to be party man. Hallelujah. What you think he got? Nothing. Nothing until he, amen, got it right. Got it right. Got back on board. Got back on course. People not yet. It's not over. It's not over. Not yet. Praise God. God still got you covered. God still got you covered. And when you know that you know you covered, amen, you can go through. Come on, somebody. But the thing about it, you got to know who you are and whose you are. You got to know who you are and whose you are. Say that. You got to know who you are and whose you are. You got to know who you are and whose you are in Christ Jesus. Pray God. I don't want to be nobody but me. Because if I be TDJ, who going to be me? Somebody may not be me, and then I ain't nothing. Come on, somebody. So I'm going to be who I am until God called me home. And we need to be who we are until God called us home. Come on, somebody. Praise God. We got to amen eternal home. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is doing some things. And like I told you, praise God, Apostle Paul began to tell this young man, it's time for you to stir up your gift. Each and every one of us got something inside of us. Great is he that's in you that he's in the world. But you got to go inside and find out what God has for you. Everybody can't play the organ, but God got something for you. Everybody can't preach, but God got something for you. Everybody can't earth, but God got something for you. Come on, somebody. Some people don't even know how to clean a house. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
But God got something for everybody. But when we come together in unity, amen, everything will be fulfilled. I say everything will be fulfilled, praise God. Because wherever I'm sure that, amen, you got it. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. And when we come together, we strength. Hallelujah. And you told young Timothy, stir up your gift. I remember, I remember, I remember your grandmother. I remember your mother, praise God. Stir up this gift that's in you, amen. Because you have people going to come, praise God, and going to try to be messy in your life. But the more messy they get, God going to start blessing. Come on, somebody. And this is the type of God that we serve, amen. And when we understand this, praise God, God will begin to move in our life. Come on, somebody, praise God. We have to learn to walk in what God has already given us. We all have been ordained since the beginning, since the beginning of this world, since you was even thought of, praise God. We all have been ordained to do something for the Lord. And I'm telling you, praise people, the reason why we're still here because God is adding on. God has added on, praise God. Sometimes, it's been 15 years for my dad. My daddy been gone. My daddy been, been, been gone, gone to heaven, praise God. I believe that by faith, praise God. But I, you know how I got over? I realized his work was done. His work was done. His work was done. But everybody in the sound of my boy, not yet. Tell the devil, not yet. Every time you wake up in the morning, you look in that mirror and you say, not yet. Look in that mirror and say, not yet. Look in that mirror and say, not yet. Because God is working a work in you, praise God, not yet. You have to realize all scriptures are given to the inspiration of God. And it's probable for the doctrine and the reproof and the correction and for the instruction and the righteousness. I like that word, for the righteousness, praise God. I don't want to be right, but I want to be righteousness, praise God, before God, praise God. Because you can do something right and be dead wrong. Come on, somebody. You can do something right and be dead wrong. But we, that's why you seek ye first the kingdom in his righteousness. His righteousness. Now watch this. Now everybody know the scripture. And then it said, and he shall do what? Add on. He shall add on. See that word come back, add on? He's adding on to our life. But we have to realize the thing that God is adding on, what are we going to do with it? If you don't use it, you will lose it. You will lose it. Whatever God has given you, you about to start using it. Sometimes God has told, you know the Bible teaches in Titus that the, that, that, that the older women got to teach the younger women. The elders got to teach the young men. But I've heard so many people in church, older women, I can't tell her nothing. Tell it to her anyway. Tell it to her anyway. She may be mad with you, but tell it to her anyway. Because what you're doing, you're planting that seed. And see, when you're planting that seed, amen. When you plant that seed, they make, I told you, my son went off the college, he became party man. But all the seed, the Bible said, train up a child in the way they should go. And when they get older, we're not the party. Now he got his bachelor. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. God will add on. The more you put in, the more God going to put out. Let me say that again. I say the more you put in, the more God going to put out. Well, what are you talking about? When you abide in the word. And the word abide in you. You can ask anything. Ooh, I love that. He said you can ask anything. See, when I walk before the Lord, amen, I can go to the Lord bold. Uh-oh. Some may disagree. I say when you walk before the Lord in righteousness, you can go to the Lord and say, Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You say it. You say it. You shall supply all my need. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. God didn't promise me no Cadillac. God didn't promise me no Escalade. But the thing about it, God promised me, amen, he supplied my weed, supplied my needs. And he know that I need to get from point A to point B. Amen. And he know where I work at, so God going to give me some wheel. Even if it's a hoopty. Lord, I thank him. Lord, I thank him. God putting food on the table. Every time... We, we do, we should say, Lord, I thank you for adding on. For Lord, I add on. If it's chicken every week, Lord, I thank you for the chicken. It's baked chicken, it's grilled chicken, it's fried chicken, it's stewed chicken. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing. It ain't cheese and cracker, but it's for me. Lord, I thank you. God is moving. His power, praise God. But we have to realize opposition will come. Hostility will come. Amen. The enemies come. 
Amen. False witness will come, praise God. But how are you going to respond to it? How are you going to respond to it? The devil want to take you out. The devil want to take us out, praise God. And the devil have taken some out, amen. Only because God allowed it. I said only because God allowed it. Come on, some. He can't do anything unless God, amen, put his seal on it. So the thing about it, praise God, amen, I want to challenge every believer, every disciple right now, praise God, what are you going to do with God to add it on? That young lady, amen, amen, got that scholarship going to college, amen. The enemy coming. The enemy coming. The enemy is coming because he's mad. The enemy saying, you ain't going to graduate. I'm going to stop you at the door. But you got to say, God, then add it on. And then when that enemy look at you, you got to tell him, not yet. Look at somebody say, not yet. Oh, I'm here to tell you that Jesus is still Lord. And I'm here to tell you that's not yet, praise God. God is doing a mighty work, praise God. Not yet, praise God. I know that I can make it. No matter how the enemy try to make me feel, I'm going through, praise God. Hallelujah, when they lie on me, not yet, praise God. When they come against me, not yet, praise God. Because if God be for me, who can be against me, praise God. Amen, praise God. I'm trusting in the Lord. I'm on the battlefield, praise God. I'm going to make it, praise God. I don't care, praise God, what they say about me, praise God. But I know that I know I serve a mighty God. I know that I know I serve a healer. When this body gets sick and it get afflicted, praise God. I can tell the enemy not yet, praise God. Hallelujah. My money get low and my money get funny. I can tell the devil not yet, praise God, because I serve a mighty, mighty God. When I got trouble with my children, praise God, I give it to the Lord. I say not yet, praise God. When I got trouble in my marriage, I can tell the Lord not yet, praise God. No matter what the devil say about me, not yet. It ain't over until God says it over. You got to realize the enemy come to destroy us. The enemy come to kill us. But when I wake up in the morning, I say not yet. I say good morning, devil. Not yet. No matter what you do, not yet. I'm going on in Jesus' name. I'm going to complete my task. I'm going to complete my journey. Not yet. Not yet. Somebody ought to shop. Not yet. Not yet. I feel good down in my soul. And no matter what the devil say about me, not yet. 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 Not yet until God says so. When you understand who you are, and when you understand what rock that you're standing on, we are standing on the rock of the living God. And there's nothing, nothing can prevail against us. Nothing. God got you. And you got to tell that enemy, not yet. Do you know that God has given his disciple all power? When he rose, he, gave, he rose with all power. But he distributed that power to each and every one of us. And we got to look the enemy in the eye and tell him not yet. When my house in foreclosure, not yet. When they're coming to get my car, not yet. Come on, somebody. Do you know it's some people been incarcerated and had life sentence, but they trusted in the Lord and they said, not yet. See, man can say one thing, but God can say another. God can pardon who he wants anytime he want to do it. And you got to tell the enemy, not yet. And you know why you tell him not yet? Because they God done added on. He added on 15 more years and the Bible says one day with the Lord is like a thousand years. See, we got to thank God for what God have already done. For what God have already done. You got to give God praises all the time. You know why it's necessary to give God praises? Because when praises go up, <sighs> blessings come down. See, when we worship the Lord, we get intimate with the Lord. Amen. You get intimate with the Lord. See, that's you and the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout personally. Thank you, Lord. Personally, praise God. Get intimate with the Lord. See, that's my wife, 36 years. I ain't sharing it with nobody. Come on, somebody. And that's the kind of mindset that you have to have when you, when you worship the Lord. Hallelujah. It's you and the Lord. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be you and the Lord. You can't tell the Lord, Lord, I would have did such as, Lord, I would have urged a sister so and so. Lord, I would have gotten in the choir, but no, no, no. Lord, I would have done this. Lord, I would have done that. Come on, somebody. God is adding on. And to add on, praise God, what he's done, what are you going to do with it? What he going to do? What are you going to do? It's time for us to put our hand to the plow. Amen. And start digging up some ground. Start digging up some ground. It's time to work. Look at somebody and say work. work. Amen. We got to work this thing. Amen. We got to encourage one another. We got to mass up, suit up, boot up, praise God. Let's come to church and praise the Lord. Let's come to church and give God all the praise. We got to show the enemy, you, you can't stop me. Because God done added on, praise God. Let me tell you something, it's going to get worse before it get better. My brother lives in California, $6 a gallon. Somebody said, ooh we." Amen. Meat gone up. Amen. I got a little business, praise God. Amen. When we go buy food, I said, oh, my God. I said, oh, my God. But I said, but Lord, I'm trusting you. And that's why God give us wisdom. That's why God give us wisdom. One of the things on my menu, my main menu, is alligator meat. It done gone up. But God give us wisdom. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the name of the Lord. God is good. People, we can't give in and we can't give out. God is speaking to somebody's heart right now. And the only way that you're going to be rescued, the only way you're going to be saved, amen, for all this craziness, you got to come to Jesus. You got to open up your heart. It's a, I heard somebody say personal. It's a personal walk between you and the Lord. It's time for you to Open up your mouth and open up your heart and ask the Lord to come in. Amen. And ask the Lord to save you. Ask the Lord to heal you. Ask the Lord to deliver you. Come on, somebody. Praise God. Come on, stand to your feet. Praise God. Amen. As we open up our hearts. Amen. God is the way. God is the only way. God is the truth, the light, and the way. Lean not on your own understanding, but lean on the Lord. Let God fix it. Let God heal you. Let God deliver you. Let God set you free. God can do it. Trust in the Lord. The Bible says the man that trusts in the Lord shall be blessed. And I'm trusting the Lord. Amen. From right where you stand. Amen. You can open up your mouth right now and say, Lord God, my Father which are in heaven, I believe you right now, Lord. I believe the word, and I believe the word for what the word is. I'm opening my heart right now, Father God, that you can come in. I believe that Jesus died, and he rose just for me. This is a personal walk, Father God. I'm trusting you right now that you would heal me, that you would save me, that you would set me free, that you would complete me, that you would make me whole. Lord, I love you. I love you. And I'm asking right now, God, to do it right now. As my heart is open, my mind is home, and I have the will, Father God, to receive you. And I believe right now that I'm saved. I thank you, Father, for saving me. I thank you, Lord, for healing me. Oh, God, I know that you are who you say you are. So I want to say thank you, Lord. I realize, Lord, I'm no longer a sinner. But I got sinful natures, but I'm no longer a sinner. I realize I got an advocate, praise God, that can help me in the time of need, in the time of deliverance. Oh, God, I thank you right now. I thank you, Lord, for giving us liberty this morning right now. I thank you for the word, Lord. I thank you for each and everybody in the sound of my voice. I thank you for a place, Father God, that we can come and worship, Father God. 
I realize, Lord, you continue to add on, Father God, to the disciples of Christ. I thank you, Father God, for all, Father God, that have took part in the service today, God. We give you praise, honor, and glory in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. part of our witches to partake of the blood and the bread, the body of Jesus. Jesus himself instituted this ordinance. And the scripture teaches us that as often as we do this, do it in remembrance of him. This is a time of remembrance. Remembering the sacrifice that Jesus brought for us. He want us to remember the abuse that he had taken. He wants us to remember the crowns of thorns that was pushed down in his tender brow and blood came streaming down. He wants us to remember. And I know from conversation we have people that say that I am not worthy for, to partake of the body and blood of Jesus. And I am inclined to agree with them. But I often tell them, no, you're not worthy. But it is God that make you worthy. And we serve a instantaneous as God as we prepare for uh, the elements you should have something that you're dealing with in your heart right now. Yeah. You can go to God right now. Yeah. Yeah. And God will prepare you for his body and his blood. Yeah. And we're going to have the prayer over the loaf and the cup. We come on our hearts this far, the Lord God. I thank you for this present moment in time. Father God, I thank you that I can say one more time, not yet. Father God, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you sent your son to die for our sins, Father God. We just thank you. Lord, we know that it was nothing that we had to do, but you did it because you love us so much. So, Father God, I ask that you would just condition each heart in here this day, Lord God, that we will be able to partake of your broken body and shed blood, Lord God, that it will be a reminder for all of us each day how much you've done for us and how much you continue to do. These are my things I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Once again, most gracious Heavenly Father, you ask us to, as often as we do this, do it in remembrance of you. And Father, we do remember how you allowed them to whoop you all night long, how you allowed them to place that crown of thorns upon thy head, how you allowed them to nail you to that old rugged cross, Heavenly Father, and how you came from glory mm -hmm. to give your life for us. The scripture says, while we were yet sinners, God sent his son. Father, we thank you for the sacrifices that you have made for us and receiving us back into that self. And we ask all these blessings in your son Jesus' name. Thank you. 
Corinthians. 11th chapter, the 26th through the 29th verse. Paul said, Whosoever eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he come. So then, whosoever eat the bread and drink the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who are who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. Jesus was up in the upper room with his disciples, eating his final Passover meal. After he finished eating, he took a loaf of bread and he said, this is my body broken for you. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And they all ate together. Likewise, he took the cup and blessed it. And he said, this is the new covenant in my blood that have been shed for you. Yeah. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me and they all drink together. As the supper, they sung hymns and went out to the Mount of Olives. We don't have a Mount of Olives to go out to. But we're going to our home now with different destinations. I encourage you, I just remind you that we serve a God that knows all and sees all. Oh, yes. And whatever you do, do it to, into the glory of God. Amen. <laughs>
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide forevermore. In Jesus, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen.